on the floor of the 2011 Women in Aviation Conference and uh, Convention. We're having a marvelous time feeling incredibly uplifted by all the positive energy that's out here because let's face it, for once, it's not a boys club. And on top of that, what we're seeing right now is this incredible aspect of aviation that basically proves that aviation belongs to anybody who's willing to take on the challenge. But you've got a really big job ahead of you from the standpoint of changing what has been uh, a normal progression of, of aviation as one after another of old white guys running around the business, uh, running this and running that. And it's got to change. How are you going to do that? What we're finding is most of the kids that we're trying to reach out to, the minority kids in particular, are never exposed realistically to the possibility. And we're finding when people such as myself get into aviation, we ask the same question. Why wasn't there a program like this when I was younger where somebody who's already in this industry will come out, talk to me, and let me see that there's someone who looks like me actually here. So what we're finding now is we go to try to find youngsters in areas that are not normally served by the aviation community. So we do aviation career education camps or academies. We also do school visits so that now the kids can actually see, here's a pilot in uniform who's come to my school, talk to me, let me wear the hat, who's taken me out to the airport, let me crawl on an airplane, or here are some kids who've gone through an academy for a week that have actually gone up into a control tower, that have actually taken a flight in an airplane, have gotten some history of what aviation's about. So we want to give them some hands-on experience, but more realistically, just to let them know that this is a realistic dream, that they can achieve this. So that's what our mission's about. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. So I work with a program in Compton called Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum. We have kids starting at eight years old who start flying and they fly fixed wing and rotary wing. So when one of these youngsters brings an airplane in, the other kids see it, now they're impressed. That removes all of the mystery from it. And when they hear a child who's in their peer group say, I've been flying since I was eight years old, I just can't get my license yet, makes much more of an impact than you or I speaking about it. So once we get the youngsters started, now we've got a wave going that uh, is self-generating. So I think we've gotten beyond the period where, you know, it's not possible for them to see anybody realistically out there. It's there now. It's just a matter of getting out there and getting the message out. We also realize that not every student wants to fly. We'll give them an introduction. Kids love airplanes, but not everybody wants to fly for a living. However, the introduction of flying sets them on a path to discipline, motivation, and just trying to learn how to do things and taking it to a successful conclusion. So aviation is just an extremely good vehicle for giving that to kids. And then, once they get enamored with the smell of the JP-4 and kerosene, and the fun of flying the airplane, the yeah, then we let them know, oh, by the way, you do have to know some science, some math, some engineering. So the STEM is in there. And okay, it's nice that you push the button and all that, but what happens when you put a mixture together? What are you mixing? What happens when the propeller turns? Why does this wing lift the airplane? What is a three degree glide angle? Uh, How is the distance, time, and speed related? So they get to do all of that and realize that all the stuff they're learning in school has a reason behind it. Freedom through performance. At Sirius, performance is not simply the measurement of a single design parameter. Rather, it's a total package. It's optimum balance of speed, efficiency, 
comfort, safety, ease of flight, and quality. We call it Cirrus Flying 2.0. Aren't you ready to feel the freedom? Do you find the overall attitude in aviation now to be sufficiently welcoming of, 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 of people of color? I mean, when I started out in aviation, you know, 60s, 70s, it was a different time and a different place and, and ugh. Yeah, um, and you go back to the history of the Tuskegee Airmen who did great things but were denied the possibility of even flying commercially. And after a few lawsuits, it was opened. So now you're gonna find isolated incidents and some can be attributed to racism or bias. Some is just a personality conflict. Some is just the individual's not qualified. But I would say, from my point of view, if you have the qualifications, you should be able to get in it. I, and of course, I have a military background, so when you're flying combat with someone, they don't normally care what color you are when your life's on the line. Right. And for the most part, that's been the way it's been in anywhere in aviation. If you can do the job, you're welcome in the cockpit. Now, some people have some built-in biases, you know, did you get your job through affirmative action? Do you have an attitude? What's your qualification? And almost everybody's gonna check your pedigree when they get in the cockpit with you, that's normal. So I don't read anything into that, mainly because I know I've got my credentials. So my experience has been, everything has been positive. To the young person or the parent of a young person who may have an interest and wants to know more about what you can do to help them climb that ladder, how do we get in touch with you? How do we find out more? What can you do? Okay. My life's an open book. You can go to our organization's website, www.obap.org, or you can just send me an email, f4tony at aol.com. Any of us that like to fly are more than willing to share our story, so I'd welcome a call from anyone who's interested in this. And if I get a chance to help any youngsters get into the field, I'm all for it.